I'm creating a template for a tournament, and I wanted to share this with you because it's really simple with using equal sign and the ampersand sign. We're going to turn this into sort of an automatic team schedule. So I have here eight teams. I'm going to have here eight teams, and I want to fill them in, right? So we have our schedule six, 637. We want to know, hey, team one and team two are playing this time, team three and four are playing this time. But it's hard to say, hey, I'm going to look for team one. Okay, team one plays this time, right? We want to show people their name. We want to show them their place so it's easy for them to read. So let's center all of this. And it's going to be like Andy and Bart and Brad and Carl and Dale and Earl and Fred and Estelle and Frank and Betty and this might be division one. So we want to say, hey, let's make this a nice kind of division one. And we'll do division two here. We'll center these up, make this look really nice. Yeah, maybe color it differently, like this particular color or rather this color that matches here. And then we want to do this one in purple so it matches here. So we can nicely show that, hey, these divisions play these particular times. Oh, we have five. We actually only need four teams here. One, two, three. I think we can do the same thing here. Unmerge and just merge four of them. Let's delete all of the other stuff. Right? That's one key thing is just to make this look really nice. Let's just delete all unnecessary things. Let's view only without grid lines. That looks really clean. We can center these team names. There's Frank and Betty, and let's say Chris and Francine, and Linda and Lila, Nadine and Betty. Right, so we now have these teams, and we want to show them, hey, team one, you don't have to just say, hey, I, we're team one. Let's put them in here. So we'll do equal sign, and then we'll do G2. We'll add an ampersand, and we're going to add a quote. And now we're going to do command enter. You'll see why in a second. This will be a V dot and then command enter. And now we need two. So we're going to end the quote. Oops. We're going to end that quote, put another ampersand. And now we need team two. So we just put Brad and Carl in there. And we're going to add one more thing. We need to add an ampersand, a quote, A. And we want to put that right after actually the, actually no, we don't need that for this one. So now we need a little bit more space, both horizontally and there. So now Andy and Bart, Brad and Carl, let's actually decrease the size a little bit. So now if I change Andy and Bart, we took Bart out and we're putting in Larry. Now it automatically changes here in court three, 6 p.m. So wherever we had that one. So now we can, one versus four is equal to quote return or command return v command return quote then ampersand and four. Oh, we need the ampersand actually there. So now we see Andy and Larry versus Fred and Estelle. So if Fred and Estelle change. Maybe it's actually Frank and Barry there. We just have to change over here. Maybe they were in a different division. There we go. So this is pretty cool. We can set up with a little bit of sweat equity, a little bit of time, a little bit of care. We can set up that these are all automatically filled in for where they need to go. Now you can see it's been filled in a little bit more. And again, if we just change this to Brad, let me, they want the whole name Bradley and Carlton there, their whole name gets filled in four places here just by updating one. So we are doing a little bit of work up ahead so that maybe on the day of the tournament or during a hectic sort of leveling session or something where we're changing these around, we only have to change the text in these particular cells. Now, if we want to move these, let's say over a little bit, notice I used cut, command X. And why I did that is so that it preserves the connection or reference Okay, so if I didn't do that, if I copied and pasted here, this reference is still looking at the H column. So that's something to watch out for. You need, we'll need to cut these wherever the references are and move them if you need to. Maybe we want division one and division two next to each other like this. 
for instance, and these references are now still at F, right? Because we cut that reference wherever it was looking at. So that's pretty cool. I think it's a fun way to create a tournament template just using the equal sign and ampersand here and a little bit of just know how about how sheets work. You can get this exact sheet down below. I'll show you the link in the description. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is going to be your next Google Sheet.